Perhaps the person who was surprised the most by the election of Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio was the Argentinian Cardinal himself. The Auxiliary Bishop of Buenos Aires lived with the now Pope for the past 10 years, and he explained how the election changed Bergoglio's plans. His future plans were, once his resignation was accepted and his successor named, to live at a home in Buenos Aires for elderly and sick priests. He had already picked his room. He also would have led a life of prayer as an advisor to many, of spirituality, of celebrating mass at the parishes, a normal life without governance. After many years of working together on a daily basis, Monsignor Garcia says the Pope's style comes naturally and it works well with his need to interact and be close to people. No one calls in his name. When he has to give an interview, he has to give the answer. He has to say something. No one else will do it for him. You ask me for an interview, he cannot see you now. He will call you directly to tell you, come tomorrow at this time. With this, he is very independent in his desire for direct communication. During his years at the helm of the church in Buenos Aires, his teachings and writings have established clear guidelines. There are three words that define him, unity, truth and mercy. Those are the words. The Auxiliary Bishop of Buenos Aires says the Pope's unpredictability deep down is natural and it's an extension of his faith, even though some might perceive it as odd. Estas son sus rarezas. No. These are his anomalies. They may seem like anomalies, but we've been deforming life and what should be normal now seems odd. It's to be beside those who need us or to go beyond pre-established notions to speak to one another. It may seem odd, but it's not. And even though the faithful of Buenos Aires are happy to have a pope from their own land, they're also a bit saddened to lose a bishop who was so close to them.